Beautiful people, first of all, shout out to Molly Gold Lightly for this breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Shouts out to Molly Gold Lightly. Please go over and check out her video called Breaking News Trevor Gernon in custody. Trevor Gernon, the biological father of Cash Gernon, the man that dropped his baby off with crazy lady Monica Sharon and dipped out. The man who has been on the run for a while. He is in custody. Her video is amazing. They're getting it like in real time. The shock value is awesome. You will want to see that. But you know me. I had to go and look it up. Because I speak in paperwork mainly. (laughs) So here we are. Jumping right on into it. Trevor Gernon. We've got his SPN number. Public record. Write it down. Look it up for yourselves. You'll know I did not create this. You can see the website at the top. It's Harris County because it happened in Houston, even though his children were in Dallas. The booking date, June 10th, 2021. That would be today. And Molly's video started about five minutes ago. So we just got this news. I'm gonna try to go through this quickly and put it out so you guys can have it all in the forefront. I am not afraid to go through this paperwork because it is public record. And again, you can look it up for yourself so there is no crime here. And we want justice for cash. So let's see if maybe somebody did it because of dad's history. We don't know. So, one of the charges, unauthorized use of vehicle. That was from March 26th. Remember, these warrants were out for his arrest. Another charge, fraud slash use slash, hmm, what's that going to be? We're going to find out. You know we are. Hang on. Uh Aha. Fraudulent use or possession of identifying information is a felony. So if it's less than five pieces of identifying information, the crime is a state jail felony. If the offender used, obtained, or possessed between five and ten pieces of identifying information, the crime is a third-degree felony. A little more about that just to help understand what we're reading. It is illegal in Texas to possess or use someone else's ID or other identification documents under the Texas Penal Code 32.51. The use or possession of another person's identifying information without their per- permission, excuse me, is a crime, particularly if you intend to use it to commit fraud or cause harm. So he was out there rolling around with other people's IDs. That is what this means. And that first charge, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle refers to the use of a motor vehicle for a person's own purpose without the consent of an owner, of the owner. The vehicle is used or retained for purposes not consented or authorized by the owner. So sometimes referred to as joyriding, unauthorized use is different from larceny of a motor vehicle. For example, Grand Theft Auto, because the person who committed the offense does not intend to permanently keep the vehicle and deprive the owner of possession. So he borrowed somebody's car for a little while without permission. He didn't steal it permanently. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what's next, Trevor. All right, we're back to this rap sheet. You guys see that? Oh my gosh, a lot of charges. So anyway, let's just keep on going through his history here. We were on number three. Sorry, guys, I'm just finding my place again. Check it out, something. I've been back over to just the current charge page and going back to number three. Got it. So number three is the same as number one, unauthorized use of vehicle. And we know what that's all about. Uh Uh-oh, 
Looks like we're running into some possession, just like Miss Monica. Interesting. So here we go. In layman's terms, this charge means that they are charging well, him with possession of a controlled substance in penalty group one in an amount from one to four grams. In Texas, this is a third degree felony. Hang on, because there was like a 200 on the end of that one. See if there's any difference. Oh, okay, that just means less than 200 grams. Okay. So yeah, rolling around with the uh, with drugs, just like Monica. I guess they were made for each other. And remember, we did this in uh, Monica's video. Maybe Teresa's. All of these people. You know what? Teresa. I do believe Teresa Balboa had this charge as well. Anyway, penalty group one under Texas Health and Safety Code includes methamphetamine, gamma hydroxybutyric acid, GHB, cocaine, heroin, and oxycodone. Okay, y'all, reverse it just a little bit because something kept bugging me. I'm looking at the last charge, and they look like the same charge, but they're a little different. And, but the definition that I just got a moment ago was the same for both charges, but those charges are clearly, clearly, clearly written differently. So I backed it up to figure it out because I can't, when things don't add up, I just won't. So here's the deal. The fourth charge is for between four and 200 grams. It's not one to four. It looks like one, but uh, one to four, the way it's written when we go back over to the other sheet, but it's actually possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, and then they had one to four. They had another one here. Let's just go back over there and look at it because y'all know I get. All right. Okay, they didn't have another one. I, I read it wrong. Okay, sorry. But I'm right about what I'm telling you. Look at look at the difference. Possession, control, substance, penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams. That's what that one is. So he had between four and 200 grams of one of those drugs that I just read off on that last list. And that is why the bond amount was so much different too. It had me tripping. $40,000. Big difference from the next charge, the last charge, which is one to four grams. $15,000 bond. Same penalty group, so same drugs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, meet Trevor Garner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> meet Trevor Garner. Now, I can honestly say I don't know that any of this has anything to do with cash at all. I don't see anything in here in here that says his kid was murdered on his behalf or anything like that. I just I, I don't see that. And I did say in the beginning I wanted to find out if it had anything to do with his history. So in all fairness, I don't see that. I see a hot mess of a man who made a lot of bad choices, definitely, and especially in the woman he chose previously. I don't know anything about his new life. Horrible choices. So for a kid, that sucks because all you have is your parents. 
You know, I'm a single mom. I know for a fact. I mean, my son's father is in his life. He exists in this world, but I have primary custody, which puts a lot of it on me because it's 24-7. And it's fine by me. I have no problem with it. And in knowing that, I understand I am all he has. In my mind, you understand? On a day-to-day basis, I'm all he has. How in the hell can I go out here and just disrespect my life with no regard for who the hell's going to take care of my baby? Being a parent should keep you from making some of the worst choices you ever made in your life because you have a why. My son is my why. And that's why I don't have a rap sheet. And that's why I try to control the road rage. Don't get me wrong, I'll toot that horn. (laughs) But I think about what can happen to me because of what would happen to him. Don't let me start preaching, y'all. This ain't about me. But you get my point. Yes, I have a lot of tabs open, and I'm going back to Harris County. Please don't close me out, because there were a lot more than five charges, and you know I can't stop there. Now, that's what he's in jail for currently. Again, thank you, Molly. (laughs) I've been wanting to dig into Trevor. Let me get it out. Trevor anyway, but, uh, you know, I had a lot of other things on my mind, really looking into, um, well... Y'all see what I'm putting out. That's where my head is at. What I put out is where my head is at at the moment. But since we're here, and I won't look them all up in detail unless I get the urge. That happens. I'll say I'm not going to do it, and then I will do it, y'all. So sorry, but it happens. Possession, again, this one starts with four grams. I can see that from here. I don't even need to click on it. Four grams and up. Penalty group one, same stuff, the heavy stuff. Again, the same charge. These are just in November, November 10th, 2020. He's consistent. Unauthorized use of vehicle. We did that back in uh, August 2019, again, or previously. And again, uh, earlier in March. 2019 and then we have death by check in October 2018 um, less than 750 uh, there was a warrant or was this the warrant is this a warrant he's been running on the whole time y'all? Lord have mercy the warrant was issued September 11th, 2018. If his babies didn't come up missing, they still might not know where this man was. Hmm. Did somebody do this to make you come out of hiding, Trevor? Lord. Because you've been chilling if it wasn't for Cash's murder we wouldn't know where you were that's interesting because that's the only reason I mean everybody's talking to you I I looked you up on Facebook last night (laughs) like I said I've been digging but I don't just put stuff out there but I, I I research everybody oh my gosh um Okay, I'm going to move past that for now. September 25th, 2018. Oh, okay, we had the fraud use of... You had other people's identification on you back then. Just been doing your dirt. So, this one I'll have to look into. May 27, 2018. Interference with emergency telephone call. Oh, this is just getting better and better
So the next charge, assault, family member, a misdemeanor, that one means that, um, well, that one is any action that would be deemed an assault committed against a child, live-in family member, or romantic partner will be classified as assault on family member. So, so he did that next. Or I should say, let's put two and two together because did you catch this? Both charges on the same day, the 27th of May. That's the same day that he was charged with interfering with someone's emergency telephone call. So you hurt somebody in the house and then you wouldn't let them call for help. And then he stole a firearm. I don't think we need to look that one up. That was previous in 2017, November 29th. Just after Thanksgiving. Prior to that, 2016, May 21st, possession, controlled substance, penalty group one. And this one was a little underground. That's the rap sheet. That's the rap sheet of Trevor Gurnan. <sighs> Another case where the child just didn't really have a chance. <laughs> it's not even. I mean, I don't know anything about Miss Seavers, <laughs> but it's on my list. But I, I just don't understand. You're given the gift of a beautiful, wonderful human being who can be anything in this world. And all you have to do is love it and take care of it. This is too much. It's too much. So they got him and they'll most likely not give him a bail or a bond. But what does it have to do with cash? I really don't know. Except for what I stated before. He had a bad dad. He had a real bad dad. All right, beautiful people. I guess this is where we end this one.